through. Yes. Hey guys, got another Subaru in the house. This time it's an O1 RS 2.5. Five speed. Check it out. Always like the front of these cars. Well, all of it. Most likely the coolest Impreza ever. But this one, this one's a little, a little rough. And when I say a little, I mean, well, it's got some rough edges. Well, like here, 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 here. You can actually look inside the trunk. Some racing tail lights. Oh, oh yeah, it's uh, symmetrical. Or is it the new venting system? So your stuff in the trunk stays cool. More stuff. Weight reduction here. That's the plastic stuff. The side skirts. Oh, something just, what is this? Oh, I see, okay. More of this weird stuff on top of the roof. A few dents here and there. Well, at least the bumper is decent. Uh, no. No, no it's not, no. I like these vents. Yeah, that's a lot of miles. It's got 200,000 miles. ABS light is on, no check engine. Look at this carbon fiber finish. Is this factory? Oh wow, I didn't see this before. Oh shit. All right, we just, I'm sorry, I didn't I just put it back. There, there, that's good. Should be fine. So, why is this thing here? And why it's not at a scrapyard? Well, let me explain. This is actually going to be a third Subaru that I'm gonna more or less prepare uh, for uh, ice racing. Remember the first one was me and Luke. Was a, It's an 06 Impreza 2.5 in, in manual. We already took it twice for ice racing and once for an autocross summer, you know, during the summertime events. Then another buddy liked our idea and also bought an 06, I was gonna say STI, 06 Impreza, the wagon. I did a series on that, whole, whole head gasket, stuff, uh, a lot of work on that one. On this one, I'm not taking the engine out. No, no, no. There was oil leaks everywhere. I did take this thing to a shop and I did power wash the engine bay, basically engine on top and all of it underneath the transmission, the engine, you know, because it was just underneath it was covered with oil. On top, not so much, a little bit here and there. But underneath it was just, you, you could not see the, the metal parts at all. It was, it was bad. And supposedly this is an engine from a Forester. Don't know what year. Supposedly it's got 70,000 miles on it. It's uh, maybe more, I don't know. It's, it's probably, it's probably maybe, maybe 170. So this thing will see nothing but ice. It's never gonna get registered. The weight reduction in the back, that's, a, that's actually a plus. Probably may wanna remove the glass on this, on the, not the glass, the... Actually, I never checked if the sunroof works. Where's the button? Oh, sh I'll be, I'll be damned. Oh, it's just this, okay. This actually works, holy cow. This is cool. Okay, so there is no glass, so this should not be that heavy. Well, all the components in there are... All right, so we're just gonna leave that. Let's look underneath the hood. That's, by the way, how you open it. This is clean. Like I said, power washed this whole thing. So 
So yeah, the check engine light was on for, I actually have it written down. For once, I wrote something down. Code P0507, high idle, idle detected something. And after the wash, without disconnecting the battery or resetting the ECU, the light, the check engine light, it's off, fixed. So guys, we actually got a list going on. Battery tie down which I already bought, low coolant, so possible leak. Could not see, again, could not see any coolant. Usually it's it's white powder or greenish powder or bluish powder, whatever, somewhere, you know, if it's a small leak. Could not see any of that. It was just covered in oil. Uh, engine air filter, that's covered in oil. It's low on oil, so it burns oil, which is, you know, typical. Front inner axle boots. Uh, we, I actually have both front axles new steering boots steering or rack and pinion boots those are ripped off rip, ripped apart front and rear struts the fronts i'm going to get kyb xlg i think for the front and we're going to use our 06 impreza springs and, and mounts so that should be interesting we'll see if it's going to actually fit same for the rear struts but we're going to reuse our old well they only have 55,000, not even, 54,000 miles on them, on the rear struts. And we're going to reuse the springs as well. So now, you know, the, the whole point of washing the car was, well, to make, you know, work on it easier or more, more enjoyable. And now we can look for leaks. So after I'm all done, I'm going to run it for a little bit, or actually maybe even before, we'll see, and look for leaks. Uh, the rear diff is leaking, probably not going to do anything about that. That's a uh, check engine light, that's off. Spark plug, do like, you know, maintenance, just check spark plugs. Clean out the throttle body. I'm sure there's oil in there. One of the headlights doesn't work. Wipers, actually, they come down too low and they keep hitting. They keep going like this. Which is going to be annoying. Oil change, you know, filter, obviously, the wash is done. Oh, we can actually... Make a check. Hand, no handbrake. The rear right brake line is cut. Mm, probably not going to do anything about it. Did I write battery tie down twice? Battery tie down. All right. Done. Cool. What's wrong with my... Okay. Nice. Fog lamps. Don't work. Front left tire has a leak. I'm going to take the AC compressor out, possibly the condenser and all the lines, depending on how easy it's going to be. And we're going to fix that exhaust by probably cutting it. And change fluids like maybe brake fluid, transmission oil, and rear diff oil. And in the process, I'm going to try and remove things that are not necessary for ice racing. For example, probably this, you know, one or two pounds. All the AC stuff. This guy here, this line, this is newer. AC compressor, these covers. This is actually, look, this is not even connected over here. Uh, here, battery, that needs to be addressed with a battery tie down, which is this guy here. I already have a few parts. What else? Maybe the center console is going to get removed. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, radio, maybe speakers, the door skins and the seats in the in the rear. Oh yeah, that seat needs to, passenger seat needs to come out because there's a hole in the floor right in there. It was actually cut out. But the owner before, he installed sound deadening, okay? or dampening, whatever you call it. And he kind of ignored this big ass hole and just stuck that straight on the floor. Right here. About this big. Yep. All right, guys, so I don't want to make a series out of this, you know, 10 episodes, because, you know, every time I do a Subaru, it's always a series. Can't be one video, you know, Almost forgot. Gotta write it down. Rear trailing arm bushings and 
them Jesus bolts. Whoops, bolts. Yeah, some of you you already know. I'm gonna show you something because it took me it took me a bit to uh, figure out what's wrong. I actually had to have a buddy move this wheel. You know, when it was up in the air, back and forth with two hands, and you know, move it really hard. So if you look from you know, got a top-down view. Let's let's say this is a straight line over here. You can look at the body over here. Look at the where the wheel is. I'm sure you can see this. This goes in. This comes out. Look at the other side. This one not so much. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. And because the steering wheel is actually, it's like this. It's bad. Now when I say Jesus bolts, I actually can show you. I actually have a set for my STI. Because I'm gonna have to go through that again. Guys, don't buy these at the dealer. These are China, okay? But you know, once when I put these on new, I just just smear it with anti-seize or, or some some kind of grease, especially in this area here and this, because the middle here that's exposed, it's that's in between the knuckle, and they get stuck right at the bushing inside on both sides and you just gotta do some cutting heating everything whatever you can to get these out so these are on rock auto i think they're like 10 bucks each and you know i don't know now but maybe twice or three times the the amount at the dealer all right guys so now i gotta park it somewhere closer and put it on jack stands guys car is up just enough let's take a look underneath so this is after the wash you can kind of imagine how it looked before look at this thick grime everywhere that didn't come off but i'm not seeing any fresh oil yet so no major leaks this is ripped that's also leaking but you know not badly so to save on it a little bit I'm gonna replace these boots both sides also look here the axle boots also ripped and that's that grease right there and check out this work look look at this exhaust work there is more here but this this is you know serious stuff over here uh yeah <laughs> okay we're gonna ignore that for now another boot that's ripped and it's more of that grease from the grease inside the axle but it's not that bad i mean i've seen worse there's the hole i was talking about so it needs uh, to be cut a little more and i'm gonna weld i gotta remove the carpet the seat and i'm gonna weld a plate over it from the inside it's just gonna be easier brakes are fine not touching the brakes look at this front strut right side leaky so that's gotta go now this is the rear right it's not leaky but it's old and it's making noise tires are decent now this side strut is new besides the spring they have reused the spring but this strut is brand new the new ones for the front are going to be for an 06 Impreza. So the 06 Impreza is a bit heavier than this, I think by 300, maybe 400 pounds, not sure. So what's going to happen is it's going to get uh, a bit stiffer. And that's always good for racing. And this is the front right, or left I should say. Also making a, a little bit of noise. You know, you can go out on this as is on this suspension you know but uh, chances are something's gonna break after the first or second event and then you know you're out in wisconsin two three hundred miles away from home and you know you're out for uh, for a few weeks at least 
I actually don't know where to start. Maybe I should start with the engine bay, or the suspension, or the exhaust, or maybe the floor. Wipers? Weight reduction. Let's pop the trunk. Ah oh, man, the, the, the trunk release doesn't work, and the key doesn't want to come out. It's uh, brilliant. Oh, it's out. Yeah, didn't open. Hmm, smells like an old basement. Got a spare tire. Look at this venting system. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. I may weld something over this area, but you know, the fuel neck is right here. So maybe just use rivets instead of welding. What's in there? Another spare. Nice. So two spares, full size. What's in here? We should have a... Gosh. A rusty jack. Oh look, it's been ventilating for a while. Hello. What's this here? What is this? Crank and power. Signal noise eliminator and adjustable output reducer. What? What is this? RCA connectors? And why is this wired? What the hell is going on over here? Is, is, is it wired to the speaker as well? What the hell? Yeah, that, that's uh, not gonna cause any issues. You can adjust output. Output. Output and input. Signal noise eliminator. Maybe, oh, maybe for your uh, sound system subwoofer. A buzzing noise that you sometimes get. Not sure. All right, I'm gonna leave this open and throw any weight reduction pieces in here. After some weight reduction, I'm gonna quickly check for leaks. But before I do that, let's listen to the intake noise. Check it out. Ah! See it's shaking? We may need a, a set of engine mounts and a transmission mount. I'm gonna quickly check for leaks. Brake cleaner. See, that's gonna happen. So basically around the intake. Looking for the oh, RPMs to drop. Just like that. So if there is a uh, vacuum leak, around the intake, gaskets, throttle body gasket, you know, anywhere that the intake connects to, basically, or anything to it with a gasket, just spray brake cleaner on the hoses. Nothing. Let's see what got removed. Intake box. AC compressor, all the or AC compressor bracket. I uh, forget what you call this thing. The uh, expansion, no. Tank, no. I don't. Know. I don't know. Maybe. Cruise control. And all the AC lines and the condenser. This thing actually is not too bad. I mean, it's, it's seen better days, but it's not too bad. And this intake filter. Look at this. Oily. But for some reason the throttle body is not oily enough. It's actually pretty clean. It was cleaned, so the guys 
that replaced this engine probably moved the filter from the old one to the new one. Then we plugged off the vacuum line for the cruise control here. So look at all this space. Obviously there's going to be an intake here. You know, not sure how much all this weighs. 30 pounds, maybe 40. Maybe once I'm done, maybe I'll weigh it. I don't know. Probably not, but we'll see. And I managed to lose a bolt. This self-tapper here that was right here. The smallest screw and I lost it. I mean, I even was organized. This is all I took off. And it's not, not in here. Oh yeah, almost forgot. This is an issue too. This doesn't lock. No matter how hard I'm, I push down, these tabs are done. Gotta do something about this. Guys, if you want to see what's going to happen to this car once it's done, subscribe to this channel, like the video, dislike the video, just, just do something. And this isn't going to be anything special, okay? We're not going to be restoring the, this thing and putting, you know, 1,200,000 000 horses, whatever, okay? This is just a simple, rip, well, hopefully, simple hopefully simple repairs kind of actually to think about it saving it from the from the junkyard really give it give it another life on the ice racing track all right that's it see ya soon